Hey guys, it's Shane from Jake's Journeys. I'm in Brisbane today to check out the 2024 Brisbane Air Car. We're going to check out all the pavilions, the rides, entertainment and foods as well and bring you along. Anyway, let's go now and check it all out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the show bag pavilion before it gets too busy. And make sure you stay watching to the end of this video to see a man getting shot out of a cannon. All right, so this Showbag Pavilion is massive, by the way, and uh, you can pretty much get everything here. Um, lollies, chocolates, toys, all sorts of things, costumes as well. So um, yeah, this is definitely the place to go to get an awesome Showbag. One of the main things people come here for is the Birdie Beetle uh, Showbag there. There's lots of different deals here that you can check out. It looks like you can also get uh, show bags for adults as well. Well, of course, Bluey is very popular, so of course you can get a Bluey show bag here, or many different kinds actually, at the Echo. And they've also got some games set up here in the uh, show bag pavilion as well. And it's quite good because uh, if it does get hot, it is nice and cool inside here. And if you're an NRL Rugby League supporter, you can also grab some merch and show bags from the stand as well. It's not even 9.30 a.m. yet, and the Echo opens at 9 a.m., by the way, uh, to the 18th of August. And anyway, Showbag Pavilion's already quite busy. This one's pretty cool. you got uh, AFL, NBA, and um, soccer as well. It's pretty cool. You can actually get your, basically, your supporters merch in a show bag. That's really awesome. And it's also cool how they have uh, T-shirts as well inside the show bags. Pretty cool. And there's definitely a massive variety here. You just can definitely find something for everyone. Now, this is pretty cool. There's like a Simpsons game here as well. But the prizes are just uh, traditional uh, soft toys, not Simpsons uh, toys. But that's still a pretty cool stand here at the Echo. The show bags um, are quite reasonably priced. Some of them are quite cheap, which is really good, and you can spend a lot if you want to. But um, if you just want to pick up a few cheaper ones, you can definitely do that here at the show bag pavilion. Hey guys, so, so I'm here in the Ferris wheel at the Echo, and I'll tell you what, you get some awesome views of the Echo from up here. And this is just ten dollars a ride per person. There's public deals for. Uh, families and groups as well, but uh, ten dollars if you're riding single like me. Baby, you 
Alright, so I've had my ride on the Ferris wheel, now I'm going to check out the rest of the rides. Hey, check out the Skyfly they got here at the Air Care. It's pretty much exactly like the Trident. And of course, when you're at the Air Care, you're going to have to grab a Dagwood Dog, uh, hot chips, waffles, or very fast, or something like that. There's plenty of other food here. You can try the echo. Would you check out the size of that fairy floss? That is crazy. I thought that was the normal bucket. You got mid, small, medium, and large. Crazy. Oh, you'll always find one of these kind of racing games. It's a waterworks racing game. You'll always see one of these type of games here at the echo. Give it a go. Prize the be one. Oh, look at the brake dance here. This is another cool ride. Not good for me though, because it's very, very spinny. Wow, this one was uh, definitely a very popular ride last year here at the Eka, the Warrior. You gotta check it out. Now, if you're brave enough to ride this ride, now this soars 55 meters into the sky. Uh, it can take 16 people per ride and you actually get 3.6 Gs on this ride at 128 kilometers per hour. Check out the Warrior. Definitely not for me, I'm too scared, but check it out, it's pretty awesome. Forwards wasn't enough, then it's gonna take you backwards as well. By this point, I definitely would be vomiting for sure. Now, if you do want to ride the Warrior, you're looking at $30 per person per ride. If you do want to ride the Phoenix, you're looking at $13 per person per ride. You can also do uh, two for 25 on this one. This is totally insane. Look how fast it's going, that's crazy. Well, that made me dizzy just watching the ride, let alone the people getting off. Crazy. By the way, guys, uh, toward the rides area, you can hire lockers as well, which is pretty good, just $2. This is definitely one not for me again. Too spinny for me. And they're about to put on the fastest speed. Here we go. Right now, this is top speed of the extreme. Well, if you do want to brave the extreme, $15 per person per ride. Well, I tell you what, you can get so many different choices of food here at the Eka. This one has also burgers and egg with dogs as well. All right, let's keep uh, checking out what else is down here from a ride's perspective. All right, let's check out the crazy coaster. This is actually pretty much exactly like the Dingo Racer at Aussie World.
tell you what, the uh, layout is definitely the same as the Dingo Racer at Aussie World, and uh, the ride vehicle is definitely the same as well. We're gonna spin on that one. That's just crazy. All right, let's check out the Pirates Revenge log flume. I tell you what, this is really well themed uh, for being somewhere just like the air car. And it's a pretty cool ride as well. Again, the layout is essentially the same as the one Aussie World, but I really do like the theming of this one, it's pretty awesome. And it's only $15 a ride if you want to ride the Pirates Revenge. We've got the beast, which is definitely a beast of a ride. I tell you what, it's only 20 bucks if you want to ride the beast. That's actually pretty good value for money. There we go, the beast is in action. Check it out. Check out this fun house. This is the Pirate's Nest. It's a four story fun house pirate theme with a uh, corkscrew slide at the end. Looks pretty cool. All right, there it is. That's the iconic strawberry sundae that you get here at the Eka. We probably will have to get one just to show you what the fuss is all about. Now the uh, Eka Strawberry Sunday is $6.50, but it's worth every bit of the price. Alright, so I've just paid my $6.50, and depending on how many you buy, you get a, a, a number, a number of how many ice creams you've bought for yourself, and then you pick it up at the next window. Hi. Hi just one. one. Yep. Only one. One or two. Me, myself and I. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Right. That's what we we're dealing with. Big one. Thank you very much. Check it out. The old strawberry Sunday. I'll tell you what, these are absolutely delicious and there's actually fresh cut strawberries right inside the cone there. So yeah, it's basically got the strawberries inside the cone, the ice cream, and then cream on top and a strawberry on top as well. Delicious. All right, check this one out. This is the alien abduction. It's like the old Gravitron. This is the one that you actually stick to the walls on the uh, inside and you can go upside down as well. Usually they have the screens on. You can actually see the people uh, inside of what's happening. So I'm not sure what's going on today. No screens, but this is definitely old school attraction. All right, uh, I'm gonna go check out some uh, cute chickens now. Let's check it out. Well, I definitely like chickens, so uh, uh, to eat as well. But yeah, I actually like those really, really fluffy ones, the massive hair style. So I gotta find one of them. That's what I like. Uh, we're gonna check out more animals as well. But definitely, this is one of the things about the Eka that's really cool is you get to see lots of different animals and poultry. Wow, look at the size of these ones, jeez. They're massive. Wow. This one here is hanging out. Oh, 
Is he even real? Oh yeah, he's moving. There we go. Check, check out the hairstyle on this one here. I love it. That's cool. It looks like Big Bird. A small version, but... And he's white, obviously. But... He's got the afro going on. I love the afro. <laughs> This guy here, jeez, beautiful. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I love these guys. Check out the hair. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> anyway, make sure you check out uh, all the poultry down here as well. While you're at the aircar, it's pretty cool. Beautiful. Some nice uh, cattle there as well. Now I don't know too much about uh, cows or cattle, but um, I know that uh, a lot of these are judged and um, that's all a big part of the Eka. Anyway, uh, that was good seeing all of the, um, the cattle. And uh, I'll go see what sort of uh, burgers they have here for lunch. Oh, I tell you what, that looks delicious, doesn't it? Oh. Unreal. Uh, looks like they do a good uh, Wagyu beef here at the Carvery. Well, it looks like they've got a uh, Hollywood Horrors. Uh, must be a maze, I guess, or walkthrough. Um, that one is $15 per person. You might have to check it out, eh? All right, got, got the ticket. Got the ticket for one uh, entry into the uh, Hollywood Horrors. Go check it out. For those steel claws that just kind of ripped your bone and flesh. I'm good. How are you? Just me, myself, and I. Oh, you're so great. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you don't need the chicken doors then. No. Nah, we're all nah. good. We're okay. all good. Okay. We'll so, roll with it. All right. When you go inside, you're going to get a photo with Freddy Krueger. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Freddy Krueger. Enjoy the ride. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's Freddy. Freddy. All right. Let's check this out. Oh jeez, how's that? As soon as you get in here, there's a, uh, there's a scare wall. Okay, you said it wasn't scary. Oh, oh whoa. That was pretty crazy already. First scare in, just got in here and I got the scare like straight away. I tell you what, this is pretty, set up pretty awesome by the way. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh jeez. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. This is pretty cool. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, that's just something hanging there. All right. Whoa. Oh, that was, that was, that was scary. That was scary. <laughs> Tell you what, this is crazy. Oh! 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 That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. Oh. Oh my god. Holy heck. Ah! 
Whoa! Oh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Oh, what is this? Tell you what, this, this is damn scary. I tell you what, it's so worth it. So worth it if you're into your scare mazes. I'm getting ready for Halloween Friday nights now. This is so good. Thank you. You gotta check it out. $15, definitely worth it. Check it out. And of course the Sound Wave is another popular ride here at all the shows and the Eka. Definitely check it out. There's so many awesome rides here to do at the Eka. And I can't wait till it gets dark. We'll show you again what all the rides look like and nighttime as well. There's the Joker. That's a definite other favorite here. Definitely another favorite ride here at the Echo. So we've got more strawberry sundae stands there and more food over this side, Snitchell Station. That looks pretty cool. So essentially this is a food and entertainment precinct down through this area here, outside the Channel 7 Pavilion. Let's go and see what's out here before we head into the pavilion. Noodle Pimp, that's interesting. Looks like we got uh, Mexican there. There's a burger place here, Boom Burgers. There's a uh, bacon house just over here, pork belly, juicy pork ribs as well. And we've got entertainment going on on the stage down the end here. This is very busy, by the way. Mind you, it is coming up to lunchtime now, so well, actually, it is lunchtime. There's pasta. You got chard, wagyu, uh, and lamb. There's heaps to choose from here. Sushi as well. And you got uh, Italian there as well. That looks pretty cool. And you got Greek Street down the end here. It's that beautiful Greek food as well. Tell you what, all the smells of all the food around here is absolutely smells delicious, makes me hungry, so I have to grab something soon, possibly. But uh, we're gonna go and check out the uh, inside the Channel 7 Pavilion and see uh, what's going on in there. All right, let's uh, at least explore what's in here. Definitions of honey. So you have honey, and then you have syrup. Yeah, all sorts of things in here. This is all honey, by the way. So, um, and I guess there's uh, prizes up for grabs for best tasting honey. So there's some beekeepers association over here. Um, some farm equipment in here, tractors and so forth as well. I guess it's kind of like an, an agricultural um, type of pavilion. This one. Howdy. Uh, check out the size of this uh, tractors here. They're massive. Pretty crazy uh, equipment they use on their farms. All right, we might actually head upstairs. I think there's a few extra things to see up there. So you got uh, 4BC Brisbane uh, broadcasting live here as well from the Ecker. That's pretty cool. Something different you often see here at the Ecker. Let's go and see what's up here. Uh, often Channel 7 will be doing some kind of broadcast as well, so uh, we'll have to see what we can find. 
All right, I think what we'll see a lot of in here is artwork and cakes and uh, that kind of thing. And we might see a fashion show and maybe a Channel 7 um, broadcast, maybe. Let's check it out. Now this is a massive pavilion, so I'm probably not gonna go and show you guys every single um, thing, like piece of artwork in here. I've been here for probably an hour. There's just so much to see and do. If I see something pretty cool though, I'll show you. I like to see the cakes. Actually, the cakes are over here. So if I find some awesome cakes, I'll show you. I mean, there's uh, plenty of wedding cakes uh, in this cabinet, which are all beautiful and amazing. But I like the novelty cakes, so uh, let's find some novelty ones to show you. Now, this is my kind of cakes. Check the pumpkin out of there, Jack o' Lantern. There's that one there, and then these other ones too. But look at them, they're crazy good. Wow, check that one out there. Far out, that is so good. That is incredible. Well, they're all incredible, really. Wow, that's so mad. That's awesome. Wow, that's also pretty cool. Quite lifelike, too. I guess these are like Christmas cakes. Definitely not my favorite. Not a fan of Christmas cakes at all. But I'm sure these are all absolutely delicious. There's just too many cool things to see. That's just a massive area through here. So heaps of art, crafts, cakes and everything. Pretty cool. This is pretty cool. You can actually get a photo on the, on the couch at sunrise there and also on the news desk as well for sunrise at Channel 7. That's pretty cool. There's definitely always something different that you can do here at the Eka. How cool is this? Now this is a massive area. They have a fashion show here. Not sure what time it starts, but I think people are gathering now, so it must be soon. All right, we just left the Channel 7 Pavilion. Now we're gonna check out across the road over here. There's heaps more food, uh, places to check out and uh, other things to look at. So uh, we'll do that. And also we'll check out the arena after that as well. So uh, mostly uh, food places um, up and down this street here. It's very busy at the moment. You tell what, those uh, tornado potato sticks are very popular. And uh, just the smells of everything coming through here is amazing. Well, as you can see, this uh, street is extremely busy. Uh, again, a lot of the food places down here. So you've got to get in quick. It is open, obviously, right to the end, but uh, you see how crowded it is. The lines become massive. There's a massive restaurant in here, Royal Snack Bar. It's like a sports bar set up in there. It's pretty cool. And you can even get Korean barbecue they got going on here as well. I tell you why again, the food smells absolutely delicious. All right, we're gonna have a quick look around the uh, Woolworths Fresh Food Pavilion. Let's go check it out. And you can even uh, sit down and watch a live uh, cooking demonstration on stage. Pretty cool. If you're into your chilies, uh, you can try one here at the chili bar. There's so many different varieties. And there's another little food court in here as well. And you can also get some seafood, oysters and prawns here as well in this part of the Eka. Korean corn dogs. This pavilion is actually quite massive and again, foods, wines, beers, uh, all sorts in here. Well, this is uh, definitely a popular one for people to visit, for sure. Well, I tell you what, it's, uh, it's extremely busy in there. Uh, again, lots of delicious foods to try. Wines, beers, uh, they've got confectionery, they've got lots of different taste testings going on in the uh, Woolworths uh, Food Pavilion here at the Eka. All right, I'm gonna try and make my way through all those people. Uh, right down the end there, there's more of the Eka, right down the, uh, down the end, food and other things as well. Let's go check it out. And there's uh, plenty of these uh, strawberry sundae stands around the Eka too, by the way. They're sort of scattered throughout the whole of the Eka. Uh, this is a pretty big setup here for the tasty, sorry, twisty potatoes. Maddox twisty potatoes. Check it out. All set up. 
these guys look pretty cool. We've got uh, different flavours, Mexican spice, chicken salt, salt and vinegar. If you're into your crispy potato sticks, grab one from here. I found more rides and a roller coaster as well. I think this area is more for small kids, but uh, they got a Jurassic roller coaster here. So that's pretty cool at the Echo. Tell you what, that's not a bad little roller coaster for the Ecker. It's pretty good and it's quite well themed as well. Now, down this end of the Ecker, they've uh, got a freak out ride as well. I tell you what, it's pretty cool to have a few extra rides down here a few kids' rides and uh, a couple of thrill rides as well. Pretty awesome. Uh, they got a uh, rocks uh, ride here. This one is always a popular one. By the way, they're building these apartments here. Imagine living there. Once they're finished being built, a little bit noisy, but hey, right at the Echo, that's pretty cool. So a lot of the sideshows are sort of spread around the event. Years gone by, there used to be a sideshow alley. They'd all be in one place, but now they're right spread around. Now they do have another Ferris wheel, actually two Ferris wheels here at the Echo, but pretty much one at one end, one at the other end of the Echo. Now that looks uh, suspiciously like the Dumbo ride at Disneyland. Uh, it could be a little bit of a knockoff. You could also go on that ride here at the Echo. Why not? And there's another big fun house down here. This one's three story one, Enchanted Circus. That looks pretty cool. Fun houses are lots of fun. <laughs> Now I was going to check out the animal nursery, but uh, the queue is actually massive, so I'll probably pass on that one, but there is an animal nursery here if you want to check that out as well. Right down the back end of the Ecker. Now if you are coming to the Ecker, I'd probably recommend uh, trying to get here on opening, maybe. I mean, I know it's awesome at night time when the lights come on. I'm going to stay until the lights come on and gets dark, but uh, it gets busier at night as well. People love the night atmosphere at the Ecker, and also there's entertainment and fireworks to enjoy as well. Did I mention it's pretty busy? Um, a lot more sideshows down here, by the way, which is cool. Shootout games, knock them down games, ball in the clown's mouth games. I, like, I used to love these when I was a kid. They're pretty cool games. Freshly squeezed lemonade. Sounds delicious. And there's still more to see down this end. And we still got to get to the arena as well. Check that out. Look at this fresh corn, fresh roasted corn. Check out how awesome the stand looks, by the way. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Corn on a cob. Well, I'm sure you can see the, the smoke coming out of this. Smoked meats, uh, smokehouse. It smells amazing, so delicious. Check it out over here. Oh, I tell you, I'm starving too. Oh, check it out. Flame grilled. Beautiful. Oh, it looks so good. If only you could smell this. Oh. Definitely check it out. I'll tell you what, looks amazing, smells amazing. There's so many nice foods here, by the way. Not just your traditional Dagwoods, like there's so many other foods on offer. It's amazing. Wow, well, I do love me a good uh, ghost train. Uh, this one here is uh, $15 to ride. I think most of the rides are around that minimum $15 mark. Queue's not too bad, actually. I think I'm gonna check it out now. Uh, I believe there is actually people inside this one to ski as well. Oh yeah, there's the Grim Reaper up there. I'm sure there'll be more inside this attraction, without a doubt. Alright, 
here we go. We just started on the ghost train. Whoa. Let's go. Whoa, jeez. That got me too. Oh man, that got me. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. View of the air carrier up here. Uh, let's go. Holy heck! Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, he got me. He got me good too. Oh, okay. It's probably pretty dark in here for you guys now. So. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez! All right. That was. Uh, that got me too. Whoa! Jeez! Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez! Okay. <laughs> Wow. Oh. I tell you, this is actually pretty good. Oh, there's uh Whoa! Jeez, I thought that was what? I thought that was that. Uh, whoa, jeez. Whoa. I tell you what, I thought that was a fake. Oh, man. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, okay. All right. Holy heck. Oh. Jeez. All right. Well, I tell you what, it wasn't... Wasn't a long ride, but uh, it was actually really good. So uh, def definitely a few different uh, uh, scare scare points on there. It was, it was really good. Awesome. I tell you what, that again, that uh, definitely is worth doing. 100%. Some really good scare uh, scare moments inside um, that ghost train. Loved it. Also, they're telling me that uh, the animatronic uh, monsters in there are actually all new from the US. And I could, I could definitely tell that they were high quality. So it is a short ride, but still definitely worth doing. Hey guys, I'm here at the uh, Headhunters Saloon uh, Shooting Gallery. And uh, I tell you what, this one here uses um, real slug guns as well. So uh, we're gonna give that a go. We're gonna see how many ducks we can get down over here as well. So uh, $20 for a go, you get four. To get four shots for 20, so let's check it out. Hey guys, make sure you check out the Headhunters Shooting Gallery Saloon here at the Eka. It's a family owned business. Um, they're real slug guns and there's heaps of awesome prizes to be won. Right, we're going to head to the arena, uh, just see what's going on there. Um, I haven't seen the show schedule yet, so uh, the, I know there is different events going on there as well. That's uh, PC I'll have to try and find out um, what time the fireworks are on. I don't know if I'll stay right to the very end tonight. I've been here since opening, so we'll see. But uh, they normally have some entertainment in here. Uh, all the info is on their website, on the Echo website. So check it out. Uh, check out the schedule. And uh, if you're coming with the family, at least then you won't be able to miss anything if you know what's on and when. All right, decided to get Mexican for lunch. Right, so I went with the uh, chicken burrito bowl from Amigos Mexican. It definitely looks pretty awesome. I added the guac as well. All right, so just finished a late lunch. So I had the Mexican and it was delicious. Um, yeah, food here is a little bit obviously on the pricey side, but um, end of the day, it is what it is, right? So anyway, might head back to uh, where all the rides are again and see what's happening there. So it's nearly five o'clock and uh, it's definitely a heck of a lot busier now. People coming in for that nighttime experience with all the lights and sounds, food, atmosphere. Definitely gets busier at nighttime.
Alright, so we're here on the arena for apparently the official opening night. Let's uh, see what there is. I can see a helicopter and I can see a cannon. I wonder what that is for. Thank you very much, Steve. Yeah, this is this is packed now. Definitely packed now. Quick make up the Navy division here today. The 9th Full Support Battalion, 17th Sustainment Brigade, made up the Army Division, and the Rat Basin. That's starting up. We're excited. You are the only person in Australia that can do this stuff. Uh, is there something a little bit wrong with you? No, no, everyone <laughs> else is fired. <laughs> Excellent. I must admit, I haven't seen anything like this before. Not live, anyway. He's done it, he made it. No way! That was insane. Where is he? He made it on the mat. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. There, is. Is there you go. Wow, you saw it here first. That is insane. So that's going to do it for my look today here at the Brisbane ECA 2024 opening day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Jag's Journeys to keep the journey going. I do theme parks, attractions, events. I uh, would really appreciate your guys' support. Don't forget, you can also support my channel through the Buy Me a Coffee app. Uh, QR codes on screen now for that as well. Plus, uh, the details are in Linktree on my Instagram as well. Anyway, guys, once again, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next journey.